Hello and welcome back in Sadly, game number three. D1 was able to draft bad, make bad macro calls and have a bad performance from players like Karim. Three things that you are not usually associating with T1, at least not this T1 that we know. And well, that led to uh, a win for Guangdong Freaks. Obviously their performance was also quite good, quite good. They drafted well, we are not going to yeah, don't play their performance, but obviously if T1 is giving them the hand, they are just taking it. So, with this, T1 has one more chance to get the win and to get the 15 and 0. Am I jinxing it? Hopefully not, but we'll figure it out after. But we'll... So let's see. Uh, on obviously uh, one of my mains. And we get the AP Kaiser. Let's fucking go. Where were you when Faker locked in AP Kaiser mid lane? And the matchup against LeBlanc. Not sure if you have watched the highlights, but he is shitting on kids with this matchup. Kaiser against LeBlanc. I, I thought I saw him getting like three or four solo kills there. Ah, Faker. Ah, what a man you are. Ooh, engage. And that's the first blood in the 2v2. Teddy also. Oh no. Oh, Carrier doesn't get the auto through. And that's also sad. Oh my god, Guma Yushi! You fucking monster! What are you doing? There are children watching. Oh my god. How do you come to be this good? Wow. Order. Yeah, shows on ward. Faker should be able to get the push in here now. LM also around. Uh, so many people there. Carrier, ooh, goes forward. Um. Ooh, LM dies. One for one trade so far. Uh, but obviously there's more DPS on the side of T1 with the jungler still alive. Kill for Faker. And owner gets away from fate as well, blows the passive there. Nice little advantage. And Faker ah, doesn't find it. Owner as well. Teddy forced to roam into the mid lane and also again recalling. Uh, he doesn't get his first recall off. Who fate? Uh. Oh my! He nearly survived. Kumayoshi farming turret plates like it's crops. Teddy, oh no! And he dies. Guma gets the reset. Carrier just barely gets out alive. Dodges the W as well. T1 after game number two. They're like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, let's play serious now. Let's turn our monitors on. Oh, wait, we picked these champions. Very cool. Obviously, uh,. Yeah, it is considered to be a good matchup, the Jinx into the Aphelios, but not to this extent. 1.7k gold, gold leads in the first 10 minutes and Hoyt here also will die. No, force the flash out. But, like, they still get all the kills. They still get them all. And Hoyt dies as well. It, at least it's a trade. But that's it. Alan also dies. Fate there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Guma Yushi, no! The Triumph proc doesn't go through. Oh. But they need to send four members and Guma Yushi kills them all. Yes, he dies as well. So it's a four for two trade in the bot lane. And while all of that is going on, obviously Keen is left alone <laughs> and has to cover the rest of the map. Means all the more plates for T1. Mid lane plates, top lane plates, all the plates. Uh, as we had in uh, our last video, ser video series with Damon Kier versus uh, Genji, we had three Infernal Souls in a row. Ooh, Kumayushi. Oh, now, yeah, okay. He, he. What the hell? Zeus, he's going to die. Oh, that is really sad. Oh. Oh, that was really sad. That was really sad. That was really sad that the auto attack came through after the flash. Otherwise, he might have been able to escape. Ooh, Zeus, you have to one shot 
fates are you? Yeah, that's that's not the way. Oh, Carrier finds a massive engage onto multiple people. Uh, Faker dives into the backline, but he gets blown up immediately. Picks up a kill at least. So it's a one for one trade, not good for now. But yeah, there are more health bars, low, more kills to be found. Owner, oh, owner, wow, wow. And uh, yeah, during all these events, uh, owner finds out a double kill. Um, we're diving now tier two, uh, tier two turrets. Triple kill for owner. Um, it was a five for one trade fake, faker. Feeling hyphy going into five people, obviously. He found the first kill. Uh, there are no games where anyone needs to step up because at least one person is always playing good. So yeah, here Keen uh, falling as well. Faker again goes in, gets CC chained up and dies. <laughs> oh god. I mean, again, at least he's having fun. We're doing a casual 22 minute uh, Baron here. Um, Oh no, Gumayushi getting... What is it with Baron calls today? Like, why is Guma being left alone there? And how is Guma getting hit by the Orn old with Flash? Like, what did he flash? He flashed, like, in place? At this stage, we are still way far ahead. Compare AD carry items. Still one entire item ahead. Okay, watch this. Very nice. This is what Carrier has to do. He has to cancel the Keen ultimate. So, yeah. Now, after they used everything, we can freely engage. Faker goes in again. Has to flash away. <laughs> oh no, owner! Oh, owner's still alive, by the way. Uh, meanwhile, Zeus is doing great. So this is this is what has to be done, right? We can't win 5v5s. Uh, not with the positioning. Oh, Faker finds the play and gets the kill. One for one trade and also the initiation. Guma Yushi in nowhere's land, but he gets the kill. Meanwhile, by the way, Zeus is ending the game. And yeah, finally... Uh, we always knew they could do it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Biker, he took a while to get online. Obviously, he is not the one who's fed, right? The one who's fed is Gumayushi and owner. It's not Faker. And he is clearly having fun with this one. Carry. Weird. But it all doesn't really matter. Um... All the minions, all the damage. Um, owner here in the back line, trying to look for the 1v1 against the bot lane. And that's, yeah, going to be it. 15 and 0, T1. Take our ball before you. Amazing performance in the last game. Again, a bit high fee. I believe also one of the two only remaining undefeated teams in all regions. I think it's only the Gigabyte Marines. Game number two was something that we are now forgetting didn't exist. Hopefully not for T1. They need to look back at that. And I think it was a good game uh, where a lot of errors were exposed. And this is something we need, obviously. Sure, winning is great, but we also need to improve constantly. So that game was good for that. Last game, what can we say? Skill gapped in every position. Winning fights. Kumayushi, just incredible. T1, they're just, yeah the best right now they're going to uh yeah face three more teams and the 18 and 0 still real a bit of an exciting day with that sort of random game drop there but still t1 reigns supreme and yeah that's going to be it for today for me at least remember if you're interested tune on into my uh stream later on today shouldn't be that far away from when this video gets on uh, goes online but uh, yeah, if you're interested in uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh card openings. Anyway, we will see each other with the next T1 series or later today. So, till then, bye.